So today we're going to be testing the Jelly Foot Soak Soothe Just for Feet with lavender and lemongrass. I'm doing this down here. It's a lot. It's been a long day. It is now quarter to nine, and I want to soak my tootsies. So this claims to soothe tired, aching feet, helps with athletes' foot, combats fungal issues, eases foot odor, natural eczema treatment, which is something I'm very interested in because I do have quite a bit of eczema on my foot. Vegan friendly and safe for diabetics. Probably, if you guys didn't know, I am diabetic, so that's super good okay the box includes an instruction leaflet a jelly form a crystal pack a jelly dissolver pack and apparently we're meant to add powder watch gel form add powder and then turn it back into a liquid this can only go well so okay there are are they separated yes so there's like four. Oh no that's just okay one there's two there's two packs. They should be labelled. A lavender and lemongrass, so that's step one. And dissolve the step two. Okay, step one. Add four to five litres of warm water to a bowl large enough to comfortably place your feet in. There are so many spiders in here. Have you put the instructions? I have no idea. No, I think you've left them in here. So, add four to five litres of warm water in a bowl large enough to fit, comfortably place your feet in. Yes, please excuse my hairy legs. It's a choice because I'm lazy. Don't come for me. Sprinkle the contents of the sachet mark sachet away of the sachet sachet mark step one into the water. Instantly the gel will start to form. Leave for two minutes, then stir slowly by hand. Wait, is this like a one-time thing? Yeah, it's a one use. See house flipper in the background. <laughs> That's so cool. That smells like lush. Or just the shop. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. That smells like Lush, and that there's a specific thing at Lush. A specific bath bomb that has been sat in Lush. Oh, it's purple. I like that. Okay, so apparently we have to leave it for two minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Six and a half hours later. Apparently then we're meant to stir it by hand. Oh, it's not really anything. <laughs> we're meant to leave it longer. I don't know whether you can see this. It's just sort of like that. It's meant to. It's a gel. Your ultimate foot therapy treatment is now ready. Submerge your feet into the soothing gel, slowly rolling your feet around <laughs> and move them up and down for maximum effect. Okay. And relax. You ready? Imagine this is how, like, you know, the all breezy things are. Oh! Is it like tickle fish? Tickle fish. Uh. No, 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 not like tickle fish. Like all bees. All bees? All bees. Yeah, like the little balls of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gel. All right, now it says move your feet around and up and down. Up and down. For maximum effect. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just so you get the gel everywhere. Okay. Okay, then says, and relax. Step two is when you're bored. What? Basically, when you're finished and your feet are still submerged, then we add in the next oh, look, sachet. Oh, the foot. They're all, the gel's all over it. <laughs> My feet feel really nice, actually. They feel really, really cozy. They didn't feel that tired in the first place. Um, I imagine when I worked in care, this would have been absolutely glorious, to be fair. Um, but I am enjoying this, and it feels really cool and squidgy. Many months later. Okay, so my feet have been soaking for a good 10 minutes now, and I'm ready to take them out before I turn into a prune. So just a quick close-up of my feet, how they look. Oh, they feel very relaxed. Uh, they feel quite clean actually, I feel like they've cleaned them. Okay, so we add step two, which is called a dissolver. Okay, this doesn't smell. Slowly swirl your feet around and uh, to assist in fully distributing the gel dissolver. We need to really stir it. The idea is that it'll act as a reagent to break the gel back down into a proper liquid. Making wine. Yeah, I can really don't drink this after you're done. What's the next step while you're swirling? 
Once the luxurious gel, legit what it says, has returned to water, remove your feet from the bowl and gently pat them dry with a soft towel. Don't stand up or while the whilst feet are in the bowl as it will be very slippery. Does it still feel like gel or is it watery? It still feels like gel. Like really like gel. <laughs> Excessively like gel. Look. <laughs> um am I swirling properly? We just get out then. Well no, because you can't put this down the thing. Well I can give that a stir afterwards. It is going, I think. Can we just have a look at the acne map on my feet? There's still a load of gel in there. Mm, didn't dissolve very well, did no, it? No, it didn't. I feel like my foot's blown up. It's in between my toes. They're all sticky. Okay. If we go back to this and I'll just put my hand in, if we look at the amount of gel that is still undissolved. See, I'm still wondering if we did put too much water in so that it hasn't formed a gel properly, so therefore it hasn't dissolved properly. Potentially. I feel like I'd have to do it by hand to get rid of it, and the whole point of this is that you just, it's meant to be relaxing. It's not, I'm now panicking that I've got to put this down my drain. Okay guys, so final thoughts. Um, I really like the whole idea of it. The whole premise of it is really, really cool. I just, I just don't think it does what it says on the tin. My foot, feet, foot, feet. <laughs> foot, feet. <laughs> foot, feet. My feet feel really relaxed and that was a really nice experience, but I think you could get the same thing from just using just hot water, a bowl, and some nice smelling bubble bath. Um, How do you feel? They the, feel... The texture of the skin, very soft. Nice. They don't. They've cleaned them definitely. They've cleaned the bottom of my soles. What about your eczema? My eczema. My foot feels excessively itchy. I was just about to get to that. It was absolutely fine. It was absolutely fine until I put in that dissolver, and then my foot started itching, and that's that's eczema. Uh, as I do have eczema on this foot, as I said. But yeah, I think you could just get some nice smelling bubble bath a bowl and some hot water and have exactly the same effect. It didn't dissolve back down and I'm not sure how much of a gel it was meant to make. Like Mark said, it's potentially that we didn't put enough water in, but it hasn't really dissolved at all. From my experience, so from this entire experience, I'd probably only give it one peach out of five, but I think we did it wrong. So I'm gonna give it a three because I enjoyed it. It's a bit of a novelty. Um, and I'd like to try it again using the correct amount of water. Clearly we used too much. Okay guys, so that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this review of the Just For Feet Jelly Foot Soak. Comment below if you got this in your glossy box. What did you think to it? Did you use too much water as well? Comment below, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. It makes my day. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so it's a little bit later and I just wanted to document us trying to empty this because we left it in there for as long as possible, kept spinning it around and this is the aftermath. Obviously that isn't going to go down our drain. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're going to have to scoop it out. <laughs> but obviously that isn't good at all. The dissolver thing does not dissolve, guys. <laughs> Um, even if we'd used too much water, we drained some of it out, didn't we? And left some of it in and yeah, it's not working. So I'm afraid from us.